Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nadine. Today we're going to be doing a full face of expired makeup. As you beautiful people know, any tiff you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh, my little sardine squishers, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself, I'm doing wonderful. I've been out and about for a walk. It was very windy. That's why my hair's all aloof. And then I went to go prepare for this video by, you know, shaving my neck. And my blade is broken, so we just look a little bit scruffy today. Which honestly couldn't set the mood more perfectly for what we're gonna be doing. Smearing expired shit all over our skin. Woo! As always, I cannot recommend putting anything expired on your face. I just happen to be a makeup hoarder and I cannot get rid of a damn thing, even if it's expired. And I don't think the eyeshadow palette we're gonna use is actually expired. I don't know. Maybe I'm just telling myself that. Everything we're gonna be trying is like one of the first rounds of makeup that I ever purchased. We've had this channel for almost, what, like a decade? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, not that it matters, but my face is somewhat clean. So let's go into priming. This is the Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. This is not the original primer that I used to use. This is probably like the third primer that I ever got. So it is pretty damn old. Oh, maybe I should shake this. It's been sitting a while. <laughs> Although isn't this brand like top tits? Like shouldn't this still be good probably? It's made in Paris, damn it. Oh gosh. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. I don't really know what it's supposed to look like, but it looks normal. There's no green flecks in it, so that's a good sign. Wait, this is a primer, right? Yes, okay. Luminizing primer. Jeez. Y'all, my videos are gonna be a little bit loopy for a while. I've been so sick, which I've mentioned in other videos, but my brain is just fried and I can't even string a sentence together correctly. So if my decisions are a little bit more stupid, better than normal, then that's why. So at first when I was spreading this on, I was like, yeah, this is really good. Now it is so thick and heavy on my face and it smells like crayons. Nah, not good. It is 1000% expired. So let me make sure to really get this close to my eyes. Oh, my face does feel really crispy though. Well, let's move on to foundation. You're gonna love this shit. Okay, so this is the LA Pro stuff. Can you see how separated that is? I mean, separation is fine. We all need a little bit of that in our life, but this is just like a while watery mess. And I'm sure shaking it up will be fine, but I have not used this in like six or seven years. Isn't that just tasty looking? Can you see it? Well, let's at least try to give her a shake so that we can have something on her face. Eh, well, now it looks normal. It's kind of cake battery. Also very yellow too, so what's new? Uh-huh. Let's see what the fuck this thing is gonna be working with, shall we? I'm a little bit scared. Uh-huh, uh, uh, well, okay. Mmm. Well, it doesn't smell too terribly unpleasant. It actually does smell like cake batter or like vanilla cupcake, but then it has an undertone of something amiss. I, eh, it's still a little bit separated too. It's so chunky from whatever was in the little like first pump. Mm. Okay, my little blueberry cobblers, let's try this. I don't know, maybe it won't even be bad. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, ugh. Ah. Ugh. Now that it's like spread out on the brush, it doesn't smell the greatest. Yet still an undertone of like a Werther's candy in there. Oh my! Wait, is this too light for me? I thought it was gonna be too deep and too yellow. How in the hell did that happen? Oh my. Okay, well, it's not burning my skin so far. It's not exactly sitting on the skin though. It's just like spreading around. Maybe we need to stipple the nipple, press it into place instead of dragging it. Oh wow, that's greasy and shiny. If I remember correctly though, when this foundation is fresh and in its prime, this is very pretty. She just doesn't seem to age very well, or at least not after half a decade. Goodness, no matter how how fucking much I tap this into place, it is not drying down. It's just smearing around like shit on a floor. It's reminding me of that video where Roomba picked up a dog poo and just smeared it all over the tiles. That is what's happening right now, except it's on my face. Shit, that is just like sitting there. Why is this happening? Is it just luminous? No, it's actually like oil. Maybe it was oil that separated. Well, fortunately we have some probably expired powder to set this with, but not before can squee squee. For a little concealing action, we are gonna go in with, I think the second concealer that I ever purchased in my entire life. This is the Kat Von D, back when it was Kat Von D, Lock It Concealer and Corrector. But if I remember correctly, which, you know, I probably don't, this had some super fucking coverage to it. Oh, I don't remember it being this liquidy. Does makeup turn from a solid to a liquid when it goes bad? I could have sworn it used to be like so thick it would come out of the tube like 
like a worm. And now it's just dripping there like a shot of, well, never mind. Okay, well, we'll try it. I'll go in with this floofy brush and we can just place a little bit right under here. Hopefully the color actually might be all right. <gasps> that is perfect. But also it's literally like applying tinted water. What the fuck happened to you, girl? I think I'll be able to use that one entire squirt on this single eye. And I shit you not like five years ago, that little squirt could have covered my whole face five times. Oh, mm, that does not smell good. That is the reason why it's liquidy. She's gone rancid. You know when you smell like bad oil? That is what I'm smelling. So great. Let me make sure to press this like right inside of my retina. And once again, this is just sitting on top of my skin because the product underneath it was just sitting on top of my skin. Feels like at any point I could just scrape this off of my face. It's even leaving brush strokes. Oh, nasty. Now I have to put some concealer water on the other side too. Oh, wait, this is now suddenly a little bit thicker. So what the hell did I put on the other side of my face? This is how it's supposed to be. Uh, see if there's any difference. Oh my fuckity fuck. Yeah, see, like this is actually a concealer. What the monkey fuck is happening right now? I guess it doesn't really matter the consistency because it's still slipping and sliding around under here. But maybe let's add a little bit more to this side too. Shit, why not have a pound of expired makeup on? No matter how much fucking tapping I do, this is just like setting here. So I don't think this is gonna really like set into place without powder. My face feels like an oil canvas. So to set this mug, we have something that is so damn old. It's not even that bad either. That is the Dragon Booty Transformation Face Powder. I have had this since the day it launched and it barely even looks like I've touched it, but it is so damn old. It's a little bit dry. It's kind of crusty. It's a little bit smelly, but I think it's more the glue that's holding the pans in. And I have used this in a lot of videos. I've definitely gotten my money's worth. Hopefully she does some justice today. Come on. Oh yeah. All right. I can't remember if this does have some kind of pigment to it. We'll see. Oh fuck. I'm going to need some so much damn powder. Shit, we're gonna have to like press this in. Oh my gosh, even with the powder on top of this, it's still slipping and sliding around. How is that happening? It's like that one time when they had to put sawdust on vomit at Target, except that time the sawdust soaked it up. Why is this not soaking? Oh my gosh, <laughs> my forehead feels like a porcelain veneer. Maybe let's try the yellowy one right underneath the eyes. Okay, oh fuck, that was not a good choice. Fuck, it is very, very yellow. Why would anybody ever want that? Well, I guess we're covering it up with the pinkity dinkity one. Basically putting on a second layer of foundation with this powder. There are so many colors happening right now. My face looks like a tie-dye shirt from the 90s. Whew, yeah. That is a feeling right there. Maybe we can somehow dust a little bit of any excess away. I mean, the whole fucking face is excess. But maybe it'll get rid of that really crunchy, crispy feeling. I feel like a deep fried dough ball. I can only imagine, but let's take a peek at how we Look? Um, well, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. It's just like really, really heavy. From a distance though, it doesn't look that terrible. I mean, once we zoom in, that'll be really telling, but it could be much worse. Well, it could be a little bit worse. Maybe we need a setting spray? Well, yeah. I do happen to have a really old one. It was so old, in fact, that the little ball inside of it was stuck to the bottom. I've shaken it loose though, yay for me. So this is Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Oh, God damn. Oh, there we go. Oh, that doesn't smell right. Why am I even surprised about that? That mist on there though is fantastic. That is how a mister should be. Mr. Mister. Ooh, you know what? I need more. Even if a bucket of this poured on me like the water scene in Flashdance, this still would look like shit. It couldn't be because I applied this basically with a paint roller. We'll give it a second to dry because I am very metallic right now. Oh my gosh, my makeup is still wiping away and now I'm super fucking sticky. Well, this is just how we're gonna be. We have a nice like pregnancy glow. My eyelids are literally sticking open though. They're like sticking to my eyebrow flap. Oh shit. <laughs> Mm. Maybe just a little bit more powder. That way halfway through the video, I don't have like a fly stuck to my cheek. Okay, well, this is just as good as it's gonna get. Fuck, now I'm just missing like a whole piece of makeup right there. Bitch, how did that happen? Literally, Kim. I don't have any expired contour, so I'm just going in with my normal Hank and Henry. This picked up the makeup as it was putting it down. Probably because I'm setting this now over a powder, which fuck, I forgot. Damn it. It's all right though. We will still turn a look out. I would like to say like we always do, but that would be a lie. 
dry. It is just like stuck right there and it won't blend out. Oh damn, it's stuck everywhere and not blending out. Oh no, <laughs> look at it. Why did I think this would work? Oh, my hair is getting even frizzier now. Y'all, I am so sorry, but it's like I had a wig over my makeup and like the band on it just removed everything. What the fuck is this? There are huge portions of skin showing. Well, valiant soldiers, onwards we shall go. Let's move on to eyeshadow. I probably am gonna keep this a simple look because this isn't really expired or maybe it is. I don't know. It's fucking old. Y'all remember this thing? This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. I loved this more than life. Does it still smell good? Kind of. It smells like a stale muffin. But I got so much use out of this. I was obsessed and then I just kind of forgot about it. Sounds like me with all my exes. But I do not have any expired eye bases. So let's go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. Maybe this will help take away some of the stickiness I got going on. Oh yes, sweet Mary. What is happening with this one little curl we have going on here? Uh, there we go. Maybe I can fill in the missing gaps with a little bit of that too. First things first, let's highlight the brow. I think I'm actually gonna highlight with this pink shade right here. Maybe mix it with this light one. And we can just plop her right under there. Oh, we're off to a good start. This is the only thing that hasn't been fucked up yet. And let's go into look at my cookie. That seems a little bit sensual, doesn't it? Anyways, I'm gonna place that right along the crease line and blend it back and forth just as a nice little base. I'm kind of feeling maybe a little purpley pink moment. Oh, this brush is scratching the shit out of my eyeball. You know what? Let's mix that pink with this orange right next to it. Spice and nice. Spice is nice. Spice is nice. That makes more sense. Oh, there we go. This palette may be old as shit, but it's still got it. Oh, it is very fragrant though. It's like the aromas were lurking deep within it. Is this taking quite a few more dips than it used to though? This is probably my fifth dip for this side and it still ain't even that bright. I'm kind of liking the orangey vibe that we have going on. So for the lower lash, let's go back into Spice is Nice and mix it with some gingerbread. And for that, I'm just gonna kind of smudge it in between the lashes. And then just that gingerbread alone right on the inner corner and the outer corner. And then right in the center of the eyelid, let's take some spiked eggnog, just as a little bit of a highlight. Oh, guess that's going all over the whole lid, all right. Well, the eye look is just all right, but fortunately a good wing covers up everything and we have the expired house labs. This is a dry fuck. It was great for a little while, but then just after a couple weeks, it dried out. Very precise, but it seems to have a very short life, at least mine did. But I did store it pointing down overnight, so hopefully there's a little bit of juice in her. Oh, once again, she is dry the hell out. House just needs to come Oh, fuck. I was rolling it and she exploded. I'm just that good with my fingers. I think that's probably as good as we'll get it. I'm surprised I even got that. For mascara, I may have actually used this in the last expired video and just forgot to get rid of it, but this is the Fenty Booty, I don't know, mascara. This has always been extremely chunky, like from the moment I got it. And I think it actually became better after it expired. Like for some reason, it just became less clumpy. I think I got this from like BoxyCharm or something and it may have actually even arrived to me a little bit expired, so maybe that's just why it's never been great for me. Moving on, we have a little bit of blush. So this is one of my all-time favorite blushes that I got so fucking long ago. This is the CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush, and it is very fragranced. Oh, not as nice though as it used to be. It used to smell like a fruit by the foot, and now it just smells like a foot. Great for me though, let's see if this peach still packs a punch. It's still shimmery and shiny and baked and oh, still very fragrant. But I haven't gotten rid of this even though the smell is changing just because it's so damn gorgeous and it's kind of nostalgic. I think they sent this to me back when they liked me and I just cannot get rid of it. Mm, yes, madam. And then we have, I think this is my first ever highlighter. This is by MAC. And if it looks brand new, that's because it almost fucking is. I have never been able to get this to work. When this arrived, the top layer was like hard plastic. And I mentioned it in videos and people are like, yeah, that's normal. You just scrape that away, I'm like, I should not have to scrape shit away. Like, you should not be working for your makeup. That was ages ago when I just felt it, and it's actually now like a normal highlighter. Like, circled through a whole entire life, and now it's actually working. So, let's just dip a little bit of a brush into there. See? Now she has some pigment. So weird. Oh god, I'm spitting. But let's plop that right there, and oh, yes. Totally not my fucking color, so I guess it doesn't even matter that it started off hard. <laughs> Giggity. But still, the fact that people were saying that was normal just baffles me. Yeah, that looks nice. However, now it just looks really dark right there. Maybe we can dust some of that away with a little bit more bloosh. Now that everything is on though, you wouldn't really know my foundation is an inch thick. Oh, that does look really bad in person though. Can you see my forehead? How it's just like missing so much? Mm. Last up for lipstick, we are gonna go in with some Makeup Geek. This was from the original Makeup Geek. Now did you see Marlena is launching? I think there's Makeup Geek 2.0 with education. Oh, I'm so proud of them. 
But these lipsticks are so old. This is the shade Witty. Oh, and it smells like a crayon. But let's see how she performs. Oh, it's so gritty. Mm. Actually though, once it's on the lips, it's not bad. Mm. Oh, that tastes so expired. It looks beautiful though. Like, tell me, am I wrong? Mm, yes. Ah, I went to go take out this other color and she just plopped right there. Oh, that is like moldy chocolate. At least we got the red look out of it. You know, I'm not terribly upset with this look. That hurt to say, yes, I am. I think shit really started to hit the fan with all that foundation and then all of that powder. Or at least when the foundation wouldn't sit onto my skin. I knew right then. But if you squint at the screen right now or just like really look quickly, you wouldn't know that my face has like 10 year old makeup on it. Mm, yay. This could have gone really, really south. Nothing is burning on my face. My Eyeballs are still intact. My tongue isn't swelling up from expired lipstick. I am not pissed. Ooh, there's like a white cast over my vision. That's great. God, I can't get over how pretty this lipstick is. So there you go, darlings. Thank you for being here. You know I love having you. Let me know what we should do next. If you want just a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon-only content. You get a Patreon-only store. And best part, it's cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. And comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Lady, and you can follow me online at thepublix.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!